Okay, so we just looked at using this concept of iteration in Max 8 with the JIT.LCD object to create some cool changes over time. So let's lock this patch and just demonstrate what we've got going on. We have a very slow fade to white. We're adding pixels. Uh, sorry, we're adding values to each of these pixels. Uh, every frame, we're adding one value, and this is very slowly fading to white. So now we have this, this change happening over time. The way that we're doing this is through this principle of sending an existing matrix, which we're creating with our JIT.LCD, out of our JIT.LCD, and then we're adding, we're doing some sort of math, some manipulation to it, and sending it back into the JIT.LCD as an entirely new matrix. Now, because it was exactly what we were looking at before, we're not really noticing any giant changes, like maybe we would if I hit this tree, for example. Um, however, oh, our tree's gonna nicely fade out. That's nice. So, however, I don't know what I meant by however. Where we're going with this is that so far we've only looked at color, this fade to white. Um, and in this video, we want to look at how we might change the position very slowly, or maybe the angle, the rotation, um, to make some really cool things happen. So this is, uh, the, the concept is the same. We actually can leave our fade right here, and we can just add in a jit.rota object. So the jit.rota object does these 2D transformations. Uh, including rotation and including um, anchor points and position. And we'll just start out with a simple rotation. So this is called theta. Where are you? Gosh, I can't see. There we go. This is called theta. And this is in radians, the angle of rotations in radians. And instead of sending just our color manipulated matrix back to the jit.lcd, First, we will color it, change the brightness, add to it. Then we will slightly rotate it. Then we will send it back in. So let's see. Let's clear this and start drawing some circles. And I'm going to do this manually so we can really see what's happening in each frame. OK, right now I have not adjusted my rotation at all. It's zero every single frame. I'm going to put this to something very small, like 0 0.01. Okay, so very small rotation, angle of rotation. And click again. And now watch what's happening. Every frame, my matrix is sort of moving up and to the right. So let's turn it on, and you can watch it happen in real time. Everything is spinning up and around here. It's also fading. And we get these really cool artifacts happening. OK. So we always want to put it to something really small. If, if you're rotating a video, let's say you wanted to turn it upside down, and you're not going to feed every frame into this rotation, then you'll probably use something like pi, right? Um, 3.14, that's your angle of, of something big. If you want this rotation to happen very slowly, you can't rotate very much every frame. You have to rotate something very small. So if I drag this up, I can do this live, by the way. Even 0 0.05 looks really fast to us. OK, I have another video on anchor points. Uh, right now, uh, I'm not going to take the time to explain it, but we want to move this so that it's spinning from the center rather from the corner. So I'm going to change in my jit.rota my anchor x uh, to, let's say, half of this, 160, and my anchor y to half of the y size. And my, my theta just reset itself because I retyped in these attributes here. My theta reset itself to zero, so I'm going to put this back up. There we go. And we have some fun spinning happening. And I guess lastly for this video, let me just show you how you can make some 
cool things happen with the bound mode. All right, so bound mode, where'd you go? By default, we are at zero, which I believe they're calling ignore. And it's ignore by default. I'm looking at the help file here. Um, if we change this, we could clear or we could fold. I've already forgotten what bound mode default two is. Let's look at the help file again. Two is wrap, three is clip, and four is fold. And you can have all sorts of fun spinny things happening here. Speed this up, make it go really fast. Set this to one for a second, get some black in there. Whoa. I could also throw my tree in here, spin my tree, make it uh, fold or whatever, and three is wrapping. Whoa. All right, that's enough for this video.